Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my November favorites. All of the products that I have here are products that I was loving the month of November as always. Um, and I always say this, I don't feel like I have very many products to share with you guys. And I was actually even thinking about skipping this month's favorites because, I don't know, I just feel like mine are always boring. But you guys did ask me to do it anyway, so here it is. So I'm going to start off with um, the first products. I'm just going to go in no specific order. So I've had the Mary Luminizer by The Bomb for a very, very, very long time. And as of recently, I've been gravitating towards it a lot more. It is a really pretty highlight and I just don't know why I don't use it. So this, if you own this highlight, I mean, you know that it's amazing. It's really pretty and I like it. It's actually the one that I'm wearing on my face today. I don't know if you can see it, but I love this. It's really smooth and it blends out super nice. Now, two foundations that I love and these are like totally opposite because one is like high-end and then the other one's like drugstore. But nonetheless, they're really good foundations and I've just been using them so much this month. So the drugstore foundation that I've been using a lot lately is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation. And I am in the color Natural Beige 50. Now this is a little bit lighter for my skin tone and I don't know that I want to pick one up. Because I, even though I do love it, I don't feel like I'm going to be using it pretty much like every day. Um, this is more of a medium to full coverage foundation which is what I like. Even though I don't have a lot of like acne scars or discoloration on my face, I still prefer a full coverage foundation. I don't know why, but I just love um, foundations that are going to be for full coverage but not cakey. And I feel that with this one, when I build it up, I don't get like a cake face. Now, another foundation that I've been in love with and obsessed with is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation. And you guys know that. Maybe the last month, I think, I actually just got a sample of this foundation because I heard a lot of people saying that people with oily skin, like this was going to be like your new, amazing, most favorite foundation. And I totally agree. I think it is amazing. Why do I zing? Is that a Mexican thing? Amazing. Amazing? It's really good. I really like this foundation. It is medium coverage as well, but again, you can build it up to be full coverage and it doesn't feel heavy on the skin. I don't feel like I'm wearing pounds of foundation when I'm wearing this. It's very velvety, just like it says, and it dries completely matte. So if you have really oily skin and you don't mind investing 30 some dollars into a foundation i really suggest that you try this one because it's really really good and again it's super matte so it'll just keep your oil under control all day so talking about skin um i've actually been really into the ally girl pro prep high definition smoothing face primer and this primer is really good at just preparing your skin for your foundation. It has a really nice like silky silicone texture almost, which I personally am not, not, I'm not a big fan of. I don't know if you can see it. But when you blend it onto the skin, it is so velvety and smooth. And this doesn't clog my pores or it doesn't break me out. It almost like melts into the skin immediately it's really really nice if you're looking for something that is going to just prep your skin try this one LA girl is really affordable now with this one I feel like I'm going to cheat just a tad bit but that's okay so this is the NYC smooth skin loose face powder and this is in translucent now the reason why I got this is because I've seen and I've heard some people saying that this is a really good dupe for the Laura Mercier translucent powder which is expensive. Um, where I live, again, we don't have uh, my Sephora, my local Sephora at least doesn't carry Laura Mercier so I have to go up to like Salt Lake City which is like 35 minutes away from where I live, 30 to 40 minutes depends where I go. Anyway, so that's the only place where I can find Laura Mercier unless I order online, but it's, yeah, I'm too lazy to do that. So what I did is I just picked up this powder because, again, I just wanted to test it out and see if I liked it, and 
oh my god this is life changing you guys know that i love my airspun loose face powder and i think this has actually taken its place which is a lot to say because i love that one it's really mattifying and it keeps me mad all day the only thing that i don't like again it's like you smell like tu abuelita you know like when your abuelita used to put makeup on that's what it smells like this doesn't have any scent to it and this one has look what i just did guys i don't even know if you can see that there's so much powder on here <laughs> that's what i get for shaking it around don't shake it around if you guys are looking again for something to set your concealer with to bake try this it will change your life Talking about baking, I have been in love all over again with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I use the color Neutralizer. Don't know why. I just picked one up and this is the color that it was. As you can see, it is pretty much gone. I don't have anything, so I definitely need to pick up a new one. But I love this because it has a little bit of those yellow undertones which is perfect for highlighting as well so i do use this for concealing and highlighting it's what i have underneath my eyes today and i love it it is really bright so if you are darker than me this might not look so good on you because even on me it is a little too light but me vale i have two palettes to show you guys um, the first one here is the Carly Bible Palettes. She collaborated with Beach Cosmetics. I believe a few months ago, I wasn't able to get it on the first time that they released it because I just, I was like, oh, I'll get it tomorrow. And it was like sold out within hours. So I wasn't able to get it then. But I did sign up for the pre-order, I believe, and I was able to get my hands on it. I actually got one for myself and I got one for my sister and I gave it to her already. It was supposed to be her birthday present, but you know how we are with makeup. Like, we just, we can't wait. What I love about this palette is that it contains four highlighting palettes. You can also use these as eyeshadows, but... I personally use them for highlights. You've seen me use this palette before. I haven't done a tutorial yet, but if you guys want me to, I will. Um, I use these two, I believe. I mix these two, and it makes the most gorgeous highlights. And then the last palette that I wanted to talk about, obviously, is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani. What? It's the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. I recently got this so I haven't been using it for the whole month or I didn't use it for the whole month of November. First of all, the packaging, brownie points for you Urban Decay. Super cute. Again, I'm a sucker for packaging. And then on the inside, you guys have seen it already. I have done a tutorial using this and I did like a mini, re mini review if you guys haven't seen that. But this is so pretty. I love it. It's actually what I'm wearing on my eyes today. I have the blue all over my lid. And then I used a little bit of Anaheim, which is this one right here, and I used it on the crease. And then I went with Punk, and I just pretty much used this to like smoke out my look. And it is so pretty. The pigmentation is amazing on this. If you guys feel like you don't need it, I bet you you're going to end up buying it because it's a really good product. It's just one of those products that you can't you can't pass up. Like you need this, and it's gold, and it's cute. The rest of the products are just lip products. I'm going to go through them pretty quickly. I have two of the NYX Li Liquid Suede Cream Lipsticks. I have been hunting these down forever. They're always sold out on their website. They're always sold out at Ulta and pretty much everywhere. So I was able to snag these two when I saw these. I was like, oh, gimme, gimme, gimme. So the first one is Soft Spoken. And I've heard that this is, I believe, a dupe for... Um, Lolita by Kat Von D. I don't own it. I haven't been able to get on my hands on it because that is always sold out as well. But this is what the color looks like and it's really pretty. It's like that perfect mauve color. If you guys are into those mauve colors, you're going to like this. Really, really pretty. And then the second one is called Vintage. And that is what Vintage looks like. It's another really pretty like a dark maroon i don't know i suck at describing colors but it is a really pretty color i think these two mixed together would look gorgeous okay so the last three lipsticks that i wanted to mention are these by the brands 
um, Give Me Glow. It's a girl that she sells her products on Etsy. I did do a review on these and I just love them so much. I think the formula is really good and it just, they just have really good color payoff. So I'm first going to start with my absolute favorite one which is Sweater Weather. And again, like the names are just to die for. So this is Sweater Weather which now that I'm looking at it... Con dos manos. So this is sweater weather, which now that I'm looking at it, these are very similar. So the next one is another one of my favorites, and this one is called Bonfire Season. Bonfire Season is that one right here, this one, and I feel like this is like the color that most of the brands are trying to imitate. It's like that taupey, gray purpley color. I don't know how to explain it, but it's really pretty. I have better swatches on my Instagram, so make sure to follow me there so you can see better swatches on these products. And then the very last one is called Fireside Flirting. And as you can see, I'm kind of on a like trend here. So this one is called Fireside Flirting and it is so pretty. All right, so that sums up this video. Those were all the products that I was loving for the month of November. As always, let me know what products you guys were loving for the month of November. Um, I'm always in the hunt for new makeup, so definitely share down below um, your favorite products and I might check them out. If you want to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, all those links will be down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.